niggas to come. Japan has joined the United States on an I'm a fuck North Korea in the ass mission. The Japs have sent several warships to join the United States heading toward the Korean Peninsula. Little Kim has evacuated North Korea hoping that Donald Trump lubes up before he gets fucked. Kimmy done this while saying that something big is coming. So I can only assume that Donald Trump is hung like a horse. The big news here though is that China has sent 150,000 troops to the border of North Korea. Now are they going to join in on the gang rape or are they planning on defending North Korea to the bitter end? The real people that should be scared here though is not the United States but it's the people of South Korea in the heart of the city of Seoul. If shit does hit the fan, God bless those people. Kim Jong Un is finally tired of the fat jokes and has lost his fucking mind ready to blow shit up. Oh and... For those of you who were defending North Korea and that fat shit in the last video, go suck a massive cock. This man killed one of his commanding officers because he turned up drunk on his grandfather's, on Kim Jong Un's grandfather's birthday. And you know how he killed him? He killed him with a fucking mortar. He didn't hang him, he didn't shoot him, he fucking mortared him. <laughs> he said, and I quote, I only want to see his hair left. What the fuck, dude? And you cucks wanna defend this cunt? A war with North Korea is going to be tougher than the Taliban, no fucking shit. But the fact that their air force is equivalent to Soviet unions in the 80s is fucking laughable. When ISIS was a thing, they were flying F-35 jets around Syria. How the fuck does ISIS have a bare air force than your nation? How did you let the famous goat fuckers outdo you in air superiority? <laughs> you done pissed off Japan, North Korea. I know Japan has been drawing nothing but Hello Kitty and Dragon Ball Z ever since World War II, but all the United States has to do is let them off the leash. And next thing you know, you're gonna be seeing Arigato Tenohiko Banzai and you're gonna be seeing ninjas doing parkour all over Kim Jong-un's palace. Of course I'm kidding, but what I'm really worried about with China sending 150,000 troops to North Korea, are they there to attack North Korea if they fuck up or are they there to defend North Korea? Now I highly doubt they're going to throw the trade that they have with the United States out the window because of this fat guy and his ego problems. But accidents happen, misunderstandings happen, if Ch now this is in my last video I didn't know China was gonna send troops I just thought they were gonna nuke the fucker. I don't think anyone wants war with China, it's fucking China. They made the laptop that I'm making this rant on, they made the headphones I'm talking shit into, they make the food I eat that is actually quite delicious. But the point is, the moment that this is all settled, the moment that if North Korea, if this cunt does use nuclear weapons, the moment he runs out, they're gonna kill that fat shit. I'm talking SAS Navy SEAL motherfuckers. Hell, fucking Spetsnaz. Niggas about to roll up on his bitch. The fact that this guy thinks he can nuke the United States of America is laughable. Now. South Korea on the other hand, my heart goes out to them, they have the actual right to be terrified. They literally do. And I pray n nuclear warfare does not happen for their sake. Same with Japan. Hell, Vladimir Putin said if North Korea dare uses n nuclear weapons, he's gonna get invaded. Dude, Putin, if you don't trust Trump, if you don't trust that Chinese guy who's in charge of China, Trust Putin, because that motherfucker doesn't play games. He just took Crimea, remember when he did that? They just walked in and said, this is ours. Nobody said shit. Kim Jong-un, your time is limited. Niggas are coming for you, boy. But I'm no politician, I'm just giving you my opinion. Make sure you like, subscribe, RIP my nigga Abraham, and I'm out. Brother Dick.